Last week's inflation data showing food prices are still elevated, and it's hitting Americans, especially when dining out. Food prices outside the home have jumped 4.2 percent since last year. Joining us now is someone with his finger on the pulse of the restaurant industry, Cameron Mitchell, CEO and founder of Cameron Mitchell Restaurants. Cameron, great to have you with us. Thank you, Melissa. Good to be with you this morning. We mentioned the food costs and the cost of eating out outside the home being on the rise, but also gas prices are higher, electricity bills are higher. What are you seeing in terms of the consumer's willingness to spend at a restaurant? Well, I think we're still doing pretty well. Um, our guest traffic is still up over 2019, so that's a good sign. Although we've fallen since uh, 2022, which I think we we're at peak, we had a tremendous amount of uh, 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 support money out there from the government for people to so they were spending but uh so we're having a slight little bit of reset but i think all in all we're doing well our our uh prices we have just taken a two percent price increase uh here just uh, a month ago uh, we had to our annual spring price increase uh, but uh, still keeping our prices uh, uh lower so our inflationary prices is not not that much um cost of goods on the other hand for us is the one bright spot. We've seen a reduction in our inbound cost of goods um, down about 1% on the overall P&L and back uh, to uh, pre-pandemic levels also. So uh, that's a bit of good news for us. Okay, so that's on the cost of goods sold, but how about labor costs as we're seeing those pretty much go up across the board, across the country, that is. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the sticky point, uh, which yeah. is a good thing for us that the, you know, the actual uh, labor costs out there in the restaurant business is up about 40 percent uh, since uh, 2019, 35 to 40 percent, 40 percent, wow. Both salary and uh, hourly labor. So uh, meanwhile, our prices have risen internally over the past uh, five years, about 20 percent on an annual pace of 4 percent. So um, that's where, you know, we can't really keep up with labor in that regard. Um, but as long as uh, we can get cost of goods down, uh, and hopefully get uh, our, our interest rates back down a little bit. Uh, that'll help out tremendously. But it's a good thing overall for the restaurant industry to see those uh, wages increase, uh, and, and they're not going to come back down. They're here to stay. You mentioned the 2.2% spring increase to menu prices, and I'm, I'm wondering, Cameron, if you think you're at the point where you can't raise prices anymore, the consumer is going to just get fed up or, or scaled. But I don't know what you've seen in terms of um, total check, you mentioned traffic is up, but maybe consumers are, are paring back in terms of how much they're spending when they're actually at the restaurant. Yeah, total check is still holding up. It's really the, uh, uh, we're seeing a slight, uh, in, in guest counts, while they're above 19, we're seeing, again, a slight drop over last year. Or so a slight decrease in overall sales. But, um, you know, as far as the uh, consumer goes, I think so far they're holding up. And I think we've seen that in other data around the country at this point.